Alright, hello everyone. Welcome back to another episode of vlogging. Now I just want to point out, there's no differences whatsoever in my collection, but today I want to talk about my collection because, uh, yeah. So, none of the places at all are different. Nothing changed. At all. Still looks the same, still looks brand new. All that stuff. All things are in the same place. But, for a long time now, I've been wanting to look up for a site that literally... Oh, I'm sorry. I literally had a list that I can have for all my video games and tell me, like, have I beaten them, finished them, completed them, anything like that. I didn't know if any site like that would be existed because I never knew if it would. And I gotta say, it exists. Yesterday, I looked it up for some god reason because of, you know, look, think about my actual collection for some reason on the internet because I do do my own manual collection writing it down and trust me it's been a long time doing that I do that all the time when I get a new game okay listen I do that when I get a new game when I get a game I really want and then a guidebook and a game I be in for the first time ever or 100% ever it used to also be games I never beat it but that's way too much so, but I took that one off. I mean, I have literally have a list on my own. I mean, let me see here. Okay, sorry about this. Okay, this is my list. Of, the list has by names and Nintendo and Xbox and all this stuff. Like the first couple lists, first couple lists, they're just telling me what games I've gotten from th that time or whatever. Uh, from like, I think the first game I started writing here was Wario Land Touched or something like that. When I used to have it, then I got it again, but it doesn't matter. And here's also my Xbox. And here's my Sega, which I don't have much of. And here's PlayStation and whatever. The other ones do flip over too. Uh, here's all my guidebooks on the back too. And at this, these are different. These are all the games I always wanted or trying to find. For the consoles. I know a lot of racing, a lot of ugly looking stuff, but I understand it because I've been racing and, and writing stuff in there, so it's, it, it, it's understandable for me. So, like Nintendo DS and 3DS games, they're all right there for me. Same with uh, Game Boy Advance. So I flip it over, same with Wii and Wii U. Mostly all the left game, the games all on the left are just Wii, and then the ones on the right are all Wii U except for like maybe two or three. I will say, like, Two, I think. Uh, and then all my PlayStation 2s and PlayStation 1s. All my GameCubes. All my Super Nintendos. All my Nintendo 64s. All my Nintendo Entertainment Systems. And all my Game Boy Slash Colors. I will be doing this one again uh, because I do need to write some more, which I'm pretty sure. So there is my 360. And yes, you can see them right there. Uh, Saturn, which I don't have a Saturn, but I want the games for. And PSP, which I know it's a very, very short list, but that's exactly what I'm looking for. Oh, yeah, sorry, sorry. I forgot the back. Sega Dreamcast, which I don't have left much left. Sega Genesis. And then Xbox. And for whatever's going to be below, it's going to be like Xbox One or PS4 in the future. Uh, if I was saying, why not PS3? That might be also there, but just because I don't have really much of a collection for that yet and I have to kind of start looking into it I will get to it when I need to and plus I'm trying to just catch up on a lot of things so I might literally do it tomorrow so who knows and then here's all the games I beat last year for 2012 uh, I wanted to be at least 30 games but I got to 49 so that's good and this is this year's which uh, I also want to be 30 games which I already surpassed the number on Scott Pilgrim's of the World, uh, all the games I've been this year from the beginning, and yeah, there's no dates, but I just like doing it like that, and then from uh, all the way from the games I did beat so far, which I did 36, so that's like a 10 or some 10, 15, like less than I did last year. This is Pokemon Teams, which I wanted to do way back then, and I did, and this is a future list I'm still working a teeny bit on, uh, almost like nothing now. Uh, the list of possible possible characters coming to Super Smash Brothers 4. Uh, yeah, it's, you can see one scratched out, which 
I I rethought, and these are, these are ones that are actually brand new characters that uh you know are actually brand new, not you know telling you whatever. That actually confirmed and all that stuff. So, anyways, those are my lists and stuff. And like I told you, okay. So now you're probably saying from all that stuff. Let me put that stuff right there. Sorry. Now, I looked up a site. Well, I looked it up on Google saying a video game collection list, like websites and like that. And what I found was some links tell me on forums saying, is there a website that does exactly what I just said? Is there a website that tells me what games I need to beat, what games I completed, games, stuff like that, games, I, all my video game collection, like just show them to the world, stuff like that. There is, which is surprisingly weird. Plus, I believe I've been to this website before because I think Bo Blacks, yes, an LS player of a friend of mine, has actually shown me this site before in the past because I was actually just curious around looking at his channel. And I seriously think I've been to this website before because the channel logo, like the site logo, is a B with a circle. So, the channel, the, the channel, the website is called Backloggery.com. Show you right now. All right, let's just get to it there right now. Backloggery.com. Okay, Backloggery.com. I've been in the site before. I'm pretty sure of it, but I wasn't really entertained from the time. Uh, it tells you exactly what it does. Like it's a site that, you know, it's a video game collection. And you can update your stats and stuff like that. Okay. Uh, the site doesn't look too cool at first, but when you explore around, it actually looks better. Uh, for example, I haven't tried looking up Bo Black's name, but I'm going to give a credit for him anyways, but looks to look up my name. Oh, wait, wait, hold on. I already have a page. Here's my page. My page. I already made it last night. All day. And I mean all day. I was working on this alone. As you can tell, I have not beaten 319 games. It's 50%. Plus fifty percent point seven percent, I should say. Uh, so uh, you know, I'll just get better to this. Okay, the ones with the U's. Okay, the ones with the U's. That means unfinished. The one with the B's means beaten, and the one with the C's means completed, like hundred percent. I only beat in eighty three. Twenty nine. Oh, sorry, two hundred. Whoa, 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 okay, 227 beaten and 319 unfinished. So, half of my game collection I have beaten, and the other half I've not. <laughs> I never knew this. And it actually shows me how many people, uh, how many people, how many games I literally have, which that's cool, and for every collection. So, as example. Okay, here we go. For Nintendo Entertainment System, I have a 34 total games. For Xbox, the original Xbox, I have 18. For Nintendo DS, I have 50, which I didn't even know I had 50. The Nintendo 3S, I have 10. Wii U, I have 6. 360, I got 38. Wii, I got 48. Uh, PlayStation 2, I got 62. Virtual Console for the 3DS, I got 12. GameCube, I got 61. That's my highest one. Uh, PlayStation Network, I got 2. Uh, Xbox Live Arcade, I got 45. Uh, Virtual Console Wii U, I got 11. PlayStation 3, I only got 1. PlayStation Portable, I got 8. Game Boy Advance, I got 23. Super Nintendo, I got 25. Nintendo 64, I got 37. And, you know, let's go, the list goes on and on. I mean, literally, it goes on and on. I got more up t to all the way to the bottom. Somewhat. Like, Dreamcast, what is that? 15, PlayStation 21, PC, I got 2, Engage, which is 1, Saturn, I only got 2, Sega CD, I got 3, Master System, I got 1, Game Gear, I got 1. You know, they're, they're small ones. And then, the total of all games I got is 629. So, that's pretty cool. I mean, it just shows me all the games I got. So, let's click on uh, my Nintendo Entertainment System, my original Nintendo Entertainment System games. So, let's click it. Now, I already made a list. It shows me all the games I've beaten or whatever. So for Darkwing Duck, it says I have not... If it even zooms in. Or focuses, I should say. Okay, it shows I have not beaten it. But for Donkey Kong 3, I have beaten it. 
I should really say I've completed it, but because I actually have completed it. Uh, I, there's probably some games I literally have completed. I just didn't put as completed. Some of them are probably collections because you can't really complete them in case they make you unlock things which you can or can't. Uh, let's show you a completed one. Uh, see, 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 I think Super Mario Brothers. Yeah, Super Mario Brothers. All right, Super Mario Brothers. There we go. So, oh, and Mario Brothers too. It shows me a, a C for completed. Spider for size I haven't beaten, and Simpsons I haven't beaten, and you know the rest. Tetris I have, and all that stuff. Stuff like that. I don't know. It's, it's really cool. I mean, it's pretty badass. I mean, seriously. Uh, oh yeah, you could put your own picture on here but it has to be like from a, uh, a channel it has to be like from a photo link which is kind of stupid so i had to put my own photo link into like photo bucket and then literally had to send it to myself yeah that's a little dumb uh and then you know i have my own icon and then all that stuff so it's, it's pretty cool i gotta admit so i press home button it shows me my icon it's shadow nice to rex though which is fine and then uh like this whole entire page is most likely trying to tell you that there's games that you have to beat so this little goomba looking badass looking guy he's always telling you like hey go beat some games because there's also like achievements that's pretty cool achievements telling you hey you have these things you have to work on so these are like achievements i have to do uh golden ring today is your backloggery anniversary which i don't really think that's even anything minion of backlog backlag a hundred plus unfinished games <laughs> yeah i have a lot uh Curse 10 plus new games in a row. That's a bad thing for them, but to me, it doesn't really matter. Uh, sleep, not playing anything. Uh, usually, right here, it's supposed to tell you what games you're playing. But, I'm someone that doesn't stick with only one game. I need several games. Which, you could do that too, but I don't want to mess around with that. If I completed a game, I will literally go back to the site and... To my password and click the, the like for example once I beat Resident Evil 5 or something like that I'll go to Resident Evil 5 in the 360 section I click on it I edit it I edit to unlist to beat in or complete and it one will go away so it, it's kind of like that so it's a cool site that likes to tell you that you have a lot of things to do as in you know beat games wise as have fun but it's also a cool set to just have all your stuff there which i really like so go check out the site backloggery.com it's really awesome i gotta say i mean i'm telling my friends right now on twitter and i mean they might join i got my friend dove's desk to join and i didn't even know he would join but he liked it honestly the first moment he saw it he liked it i mean i pretty sure probably before in the past the reason why i didn't like it probably was a different design but from the design, it's like this. It's like MySpace mixed with old YouTube, like like Cosmic Panda, old YouTube uh, kind of format, which I really like because that's what everyone liked back in the day: MySpace and YouTube. Because you can't get any simpler simpler than that back then. And now it's just fucking shit loads of things nowadays for MySpace, YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, Google Plus, <laughs> Google Plus, <sighs> and uh, you know it's whatever sites. But anyways, uh, that's really all I did for today, and I'm seriously, I'm not even, not even play a game today. I might not, so I might just talk to my friend, uh, maybe Anthony if he is, or Connor or whoever is going to talk to me on Skype because all of them are going to sleep. But hopefully, I can probably find someone. If not, I'll be playing. I don't know. I'll be playing something. I want to play Shadow the Hedgehog, but I actually want to stream that. Weirdly enough, I want to stream it. Uh, or maybe I should go back to my. Backlog Challenge. Backloggery.com. Anyways, thank you all for watching. I'll see you guys for tomorrow's episode. And if you're watching this on Weekly Vlog, because I want to tell you guys something is that I want to cancel Weekly Vlog. Because I'm someone that has to talk a lot to the vlog and get my point across. So I'm not someone that just sums up it up, sums it up with like that and but just in case I do, it means it's like a do-nothing day or something like that. Or, I, or something like that. Or boring day. But anyways, uh, thank you all for watching. And I'll see you guys for tomorrow's vlog, which I don't know what's going to happen. And tomorrow will be Friday because today is Thursday's vlog. So, Anyways, thank you all for watching. I'll see you guys tomorrow. All right? Deuces.